Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today I have some fun tips, tricks and techniques using Nouveau Drops for you. And also I'm gonna be sharing some Q and A's that I had from yesterday's video. So I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds for people to jump on. I've got Greg's phone here so I can hear your, see your comments and things as well. But hope you're having a great week so far. Happy Thursday, it's nearly the weekend. Um, we've got some fun things to share with you on how to use Nouveau Drops in different ways. I'm going to be sharing with you uh, some Q&A from yesterday. So lots and lots of things to go on. Hi Dee, welcome. Um, hi Louise, lots of you joining us already. I see the number just ticking up. It takes a couple of seconds for people to get that notification and click on. So um, I'm going to go through some questions also about Nouveau Drops. Uh, you might have seen yesterday I launched the Hedgehog Hollow box for next month, the one that will be shipping on May 1st. Um, it's really exciting because it's a storage box. So if you didn't see that, I'll go through those details again in a second. Also, I've added a link below. Um, it's that time of year to nominate for the Craft Awards. Thank you so much for your nominations last year. Um, you might have seen we won Best Social Media. So thank you for all of those nominations and votes. It's time to nominate again, so use the link below. We only have a couple of weeks. Um, we'd really appreciate any nominations you want to enter Hedgehog Hollow for. So we'll be pointing it out in lots of the videos. Uh, so check that out below. And uh, Greg just realized he forgot to plug in the proper sound. Um, so really, now you can actually hear me properly. We'll Does see it sound better now? if someone, anyone notices the difference. So well done there, Greg. Um, <laughs> Glad to see we have a professional on board. Well, you've got my phone. It's over there. If I had my phone with me, I can monitor the sound. Uh huh. On it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you can now all hear me properly anyway, using proper audio. Sound. Anyway, let's join in. So Louise says she can hear me just fine, which is great. So let's first of all dive in to some tips and tricks with Nouveau Drops. Um, now, Nouveau Drops can be used for lots of different things, and there's a few ways that I like to do my dots. Now, lots of you have uh, messaged me in the past asking about different things, and here I'm using the new colors of Vintage Drops. These were released a few weeks ago. I've kind of had this plan for a while, but, you know, life kind of has happened to everyone. But these are the new colors. We have a white Vintage Drop. We have a peach. We have a mauvey purple, like a lavender color. We have a green, a bright yellow, a black. A navy, like a denim blue, I guess, and I don't know what they call this. This is called pumice stone, so like a brownie gray kind of color. So these are new color vintage shots. I've added our tonic coupons down below for you, and they did just update the coupons, so hopefully they're now working for everyone. Um, but these are new colors. These are the ones I'm going to work with, but you can do these techniques with any Nouveau drop. Vintage drops are going to dry matte and like a more vintagey look compared to a crystal drop that dries glossy, a jewel drop that dries more uh, translucent, uh, glitter drops obviously have glitter in them, those kinds of things. But all of these techniques you can use with any kind of Nouveau drops. So um, Philip says they can hear us more clearly now. So uh, thank you, Greg. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. Now I like to pre-make my Nouveau drops um, so that they're easy. They're always the right size. They're always easy, ready to go, and they're dry. And the way I do that is I take a piece of wax paper. So this is like a deli paper. And I also like to then just take a piece of math grid paper. I have some laminated ones for stamping and they are perfect for this. So you can either do it directly on this surface, um, but then of course you've got to find a way to store them. So I like to do it on the freezer paper and then I can store them on here and I just use a pair of tweezers to pick one off as I need it and apply my adhesive. And the, why, the reason why I like the uh, grid paper is I can just go on here and squeeze. Okay, let's do a better job. So slightly above the surface, squeeze and pull. Slightly above the surface, squeeze and pull. Now when I start these, you're gonna notice they do have a point to them, um, but as long as you keep them in a warm environment, that point will go down. If the point doesn't go down, your Nouveau drops are not warm enough. Now that can mean that your environment is not warm enough or that you just need to put them in your pocket before you go. I often will put mine in my apron pocket while I'm doing the video and I just pull it out when I'm ready to use it. So I will just do these like this and then I can make them a very even consistent size if I want to. I can pipe out to those edges and I can make my Nouveau drops. And then I would dry these overnight and then they're ready to go whenever I want them. I can apply my adhesive on the back. Now, if you don't want to apply your adhesive on the back, you have another option. You can grab yourself either a roll or a sheet of glue dots. So here is a sheet, I'm just gonna peel two off. And normally I like to use the smaller glue dots, but it looks like I'd run out. So I just grab the larger glue dots. 
And all I do is I put my Nouveau drop on top, like this, and then I'll let them dry on a sheet of them, and then I can just peel off the adhesive off the back and I have sticky enamel dots ready to go once I put them on the glue dots. So again, there's a really easy way to create your own sticky enamel dots. No you know, difficulty or anything required. I'm gonna put these off to the side because I will put my hands in them. Okay, yes, uh, <laughs> Greg is laughing at me because he knows that that really would happen as well. Lots of people commenting about the fingernails. They are a um, tonic. They're the sparkle dust, the microfine tonic glitters done in an ombre. So it's acrylic on the bottom, then a coat of white gel, and then on top of the white gel, without removing the like the sticky layer, we put the glitter on, and then a top coat, another coat, another coat of glitter, top coat, and then a final top coat. So that's the process for these ones. Um, but how else can we use our Nouveau drops? Um, so I'm gonna go with this one first. So this is just a little ducky die cut and I need a little bit of adhesive. So let's grab some out the drawer and we'll turn this over just like this. And we're gonna stick our little duck down. Now remember you can use Nouveau drops as adhesive too. You don't have to um, you know, do it any other way, but you can also use them for filling in. So the other day um, I did some stained glass. I've got the video coming on how to do that, but you can also just add details to die cuts. So let's add in his little eye. Let's add in a yellow beak. So I'm just going to, as carefully as I can, craft pick will help you a lot here too. I'm going to fill in these wings, again just like this, so I'm just filling in these areas, so you can see how this is coming together, I'm going to put a little bit of blue in the bow, and you can see then how you can add some extra details to this, and it adds, adds a little bit of texture as well, I was going to do blue, not black. Um, so this is another way you can do it as well. Uh, Someone says, do I know how to unfreeze Nouveau drops? I had some delivered over winter and they froze and don't work very well. So the first thing I would do is try just putting them in your jeans pocket or your apron pocket while you're crafting and then give it a good shake before you use it. Um, if you continue to have issues, you can contact support at Tonic Dash Studios. Um, but I've never been able to not unfreeze them by just putting them in my pocket and then giving it a good shake together or maybe just open it up and stir it with your craft pick when they're nice and warm. But you can see that you can just add that little bit of extra color and texture to your die cuts using your Nouveau drops. So that's another option that you have as well. Um, so hopefully that answers your uh, questions on that one. And then the other things you can do is use them like a paste. Maybe you haven't tried this one before. So this is a scrapbook.com. It's called the Little Boxes stencil. It's a really nice stencil to use. I'm gonna grab out some of this purple and I just kind of like put some down. You don't need a huge amount. And then just take your stencil and I'm using the Tonic Media Spatulas which work really well for doing this technique. Um, and you can make your Nouveau drops that way go a long, long way. So I'm gonna do this. Just keep spreading it till I've used it all up. And then lift up your stencil, and now you have a really cool effect using your Nouveau drops through a stencil. Um, this is one I did earlier, I did this, this is black and white, so I just kind of mixed the two together and played around with some different techniques. And you can see it dries like an enamel, so it comes out with some really kind of fun, cool texture, um, and you can do some really fun techniques with those as well. And of course, these will pop on colored cardstock, so if you have black cardstock, you could use the white, and it's still gonna pop. You can see how much, you can still see that purple through it, uh, sorry, around it rather than through it when I was playing around with some of my ideas. Uh, so that is another option. So that's your number four. And then this is number five, um, is you can use it on um, kind of embossing. So this is a piece of tonic acetate. And I haven't done this one for a while, so let's do this one together. So we're going to take uh, some Nouveau drops. Let's do some, hmm, I think we're gonna do the 
each. So again, just kind of like put some on here. And then you can decide whether you want to... Greg, will you stop stealing my mini eggs? No. Go on. No, I can't. I'm teaching. That is yours then. Oh, gee, thanks. So you have a couple of options. You can either just let it be quite organic in the kind of smushing, or I like to sometimes just take my little brayer and move it around so I have it in different areas. Um, but you can decide what your favourite way to do it is. And I'll put some on the back too. This one's going to take a little bit of time to dry. You'd want to like dry it overnight or something like that. Um, but this will absolutely work as well. So I'm going to just wipe this off because I don't want it to dry on my brayer. And then we'll wash that afterwards. So I'm going to take this piece of acetate. This is the tonic construction acetate. And now I'm going to pop this through here. I'm going to grab my sandwich. I'm trying to remember from memory what the sandwich is. Uh, I think it's this. It says this, this, and this, maybe. All right, let's try this if it's right. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to keep talking to you while I do that as well. So let us know who's joining us, where you're joining from, all those kinds of fun things while I experiment with which sandwich I need. Um, we'll soon know as we get it in there. It's too much. Let's try it this one. Can you remember, Greg? I don't know. That's not enough. <laughs> you can kind of feel what's right, so I tend to just go with it. There you go, that feels better. All right, so we're just going to put this through like this as well. Would you be able to sponge them on the embossing folder instead of pouring it on? Yes, you can. Um, I did have a video the other day about tips and tricks with 3D embossing folders. It worked. Woohoo! So you can see now it's gone on there. It's just kind of a little bit frosted. It gives you this kind of fun extra dimension. Um, but of course you could just do the plastic. This one I did a little bit heavier. You can see I've got more on there. You could go and rub alcohol inks and things on it now too. Um, again, it's just another sort of texture color that you can add in and it just adds a bit more visual interest to your projects. So I'm gonna put this one face up and put it in the washing pile for afterwards. And I'm gonna put these to the side. Are you gonna be doing that washing pile, honey? No, that's you, darling. Mm -hmm. He knows. All right, so I'll put this on the floor. Um, so that was all of that. So you've got five ways there to use Nouveau Drops. So you can put them on wax paper, you can put them on glue dots, you can put them through a stencil, we can add details to our die cuts, and we can use them in our embossing folders. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of ways to try them out. And you've got those new colors of vintage drops. Greg's looking very guilty over there, like he's done something. No, I didn't steal more chocolate eggs. <laughs> Got to love husband. Great. As long as you're alive, I can eat as much chocolate eggs as I like. You can't do anything about it. Thanks, babe. <laughs> anyway, so I also want to answer some other questions that I had from yesterday. So people asked me about these chipboard pieces um, that are coming in next month's Hedgehog Hollow Box. I'll go through the full contents, but it is a themed box to storage and organization. So people ask, how can you alter these? So you can add gesso to them. You can paint them with acrylic paints. You can spray them. You can ink them. You can pretty much do anything you want. You could add Nouveau drops to one. So if we took one of these little stars, and we took some Nouveau drops and you know, we can add this on so you could swatch out some of your Nouveau drops Greg stop seeing the chocolate I can still see but I've just told me to eat some more <laughs> that's my interpretation anyway <laughs> it's not what he said <laughs> they're really good though they're the shimmer ones um, so you can see, you can add some kind of fun dimensions or just add some Nouveau drops to add some sparkle to a card. You can use this on a card. You can cover this and they say ink, they say embellishments, uh, stencils, paper, uh, markers, stamps and dies. Plus you've got a number of little stars and things. So you could use them on cards, you can use them on anything, but you really can, you know, apply any kinds of mediums to them. They are a thin chipboard, so you've got lots and lots of different options there. I'm going to move this one to the side because I'm going to try not to make a mess out of it. Uh, you're also going to get a set of stamp cards, a full set in here. So you've got 12 stamp cards in here. If you haven't used these, these are really great for storing all those freebie stamps we get. Uh, any stamps you want to store with dies, it's a really nice way to do it. Um, and you can also get these 5 by 7 magnet cards, one of which is going to come in your subscription box. And they are also including a package of these tabbed folders, just like this. And the thing I really like about the folders, and I did forget to mention yesterday, is these five by seven magnet cards 
fit in here perfectly. So you can see they're really nice for storing those magnet cards. So none of your dies can fall off. They've got tabs on the top that stack along so that you, know, you can find exactly what you're looking for and label them. You can also fit a stamp card in there. You could also fit the stamp card with the magnet card. Um, they also, they do do a six by six size, uh, but if you like all of your storage to be the same, they do also take a stencil or a six by six piece of paper. Um, speaking of which, we are including a full paper pack of double-sided papers. Um, these are really, really pretty papers. I love these. So we designed these to just be some fun, kind of watercolory designs, very neutral that you can use them with anything. This is probably my favorite one. I love this. This is on the reverse of that. And then you've got this watercolor and this on the back. And you can see, so we've got lots of sheets in there so you can really kind of play around. I like this one because you could chop it and just use an element. You could just cut the corner off. You could use this as a six by six scrapbook page or a six by six card, you know, all of that. So you're gonna get a full paper pack, 12 sheets of paper on that one. Um, Stampin' Storage are giving you a catalog as well and some exclusive um, content just for our Hedgehog Hollows. Plus you'll get to see my desk very soon. Um, and then we also are including a storage stamp set. I'm going to take this out of the packet so you can see. How long do Nouveau, top, Nouveau drops take to dry? Um, I'm in Ohio, so it's pretty humid. So I like to say overnight. Um, when I'm in Phoenix doing a class at Creativation, probably 10 minutes. So it just kind of gives you an idea. It just depends on the humidity. I don't advise using a heat gun with them. They will crack as if you use a radiator and things, they will crack. So just a general warm environment, the less humid, the better, because it will dry quicker. But that pretty much um, will let you know on how to do that. So this is the stamp set that we designed. I'm just using this as a neutral background. You've got some solid shapes here for swatching in different sizes. And I'll show you how these interact with something else. You've got lines to stamp on your labels and then the titles, depending on what you want to put next to it. So like liquid, pigment, dye, name, series, brand, manufacturer. We asked our viewers what they'd like. Uh, a lady never discusses the size of her craft stash. Creativity is messy and I'm very creative. My craft room isn't messy. I just like everything on display. So they're in there. And then Craig finds this hilarious. No, your craft room is messy, honey. Yes, you like everything on display. There's an absolute pigsty in there. Yes, it is. Do you want me to pan back? That's not the craft room. That's the staging area. And that's not my fault. It's Ali's fault. Um, anyway, sorry, Ali. I'm going to stick some more <laughs> Um, so these are the this is the other stamp in here, which you could use like for bullet journaling and list and those kinds of things. Somebody pointed out yesterday, which I thought was a great idea. And the other the thing I actually designed it for is you can stamp this out on sticker paper, swatch your colours on this side, and then write the name on this side and guillotine the lines apart. And they are the perfect size to fit on distress pads. They will fit on um, like your Gina Cage, your lawn forms. They will pretty much fit on any ink pad. Catherine Pooler, I tried all of my full size ink pads and these fit on all of them. So that's why they were sized to this particular size. Uh, we also included this stencil, which I love because I think I can use this for so many different things. I want, I originally made it for you to be able to swatch color wheels and swatch out your palettes and stuff like that. But you can also, of course, use it as elements. You can use it for uh, basing off mandalas if you like to zentangle. Someone told me it's the perfect template for that. Um, you can make a card for a crafty friend and put it like a little palette on there, make it into a rainbow color wheel. Tons and tons of different ideas, I think, um, that we're gonna have with this one. So I'm excited to see what everyone comes up with. You also have this stencil here, which I love the idea of this stencil because lots of us use that Jennifer Maguire system where you print it all off onto the two inch cards. And this is designed to fit with that system perfectly. So these are sized if you cut a two inch wide strip of cardstock or if you print off Jennifer Maguire's templates, you cut those apart. This is set to be on those two inch cards. They're gonna be centered perfectly. So you take yourself a two inch, I'm gonna say that this is two inches, piece of paper. You choose whether you want circles, stars, hearts, or flowers. You put it behind, you swatch out your three colors, and then you would just cut in between those swatches and they're gonna be perfect two inch cards. It's all been designed and spaced appropriately. So um, you can choose, and the stamp set that has these heart stars, flowers, etc. same deal. They are exactly the same size as your stencil, so you can decide whether you want to blend and paint 
or if you want to color stamp spray etc you've got both options and they're exactly the same size so you can try that out too or you can use this for the spacing so you can work out exactly where your spacing should be and stamp through them um, and use it like a mask you're also going to get this cute little stamp and storage trash can which greg is hoping might make me a little bit more organized and put my trash <laughs> in the bin yeah, hoping. Hoping. I'm hoping. He's hoping. Um, it has a cute little uh, tag on the side here, so you can hang it on the edge here. You can, um, it folds down, and then it's got these little tabs inside. I've just lost them. Where did I put them? They're inside. They're sewn in. They're outside there. Where are they? Outside. Where? They're what? No, it goes down like this, and there's little Velcro tabs. And I don't know where they've gone. Oh, there it is. I you see. Got I got it. 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 Now they're inside like this. So you take this tab and you press it down and you take this tab. I'm totally having a Friday afternoon moment, even on a Thursday. And you can see it goes down. So it's great for taking to crops, any of those kinds of things. Um, and obviously, you know, it's great. So we'll be using these. Maddie's already got one on her desk. It kind of works for her, but it's just nice to have something that's small and can go all over the place. And I like the little hangy hook on here as well. You could clip it on the side of your carts, on the side of your desk, you know, all those kinds of things. I think it's really cute. So all of this will be coming in the Hedgehog Hollow box next month. You can go order them now from the hedgehoghollow.com slash shop. $39.99 for one month. We ship them out of the US and they ship worldwide. Um, so you'll get the trash can, you'll get the stamp set, you get the stencil set, you get the other stencil set, you get the catalogue, the full paper pack, the full pack of folders, the full pack of stamp cards, and a magnet card to try out. So it's over $100 worth of amazing storage supplies. Oh, and the chipboard as well. So go grab yourself a box. Um, our masculine box, I think, is pretty much sold out. It was down to single digits when I looked earlier. So um that one was super super popular don't forget we have the live craft together coming up next friday so if you want to jump in a private zoom craft class with me and ashley chauvin have lots of fun win some prizes all of those kinds of things you can do that you just have to make a purchase from artistbree or irononink.com link below use the code hh10 and you will get an invite next week by email and we'll be crafting together next Friday evening. I cannot wait. Uh, we've got some really, really fun things planned. She does this all the time and she's an absolute pro at it. And I'm really excited that her and I are gonna be doing that together. Plus don't forget to, of course, also subscribe uh, to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, all of those kinds of things. And uh, don't forget to nominate Hedgehog Hollow as well. So, so many fun things going on. I will be live tomorrow because it is hashtag spread joy, not germs day. So I'll be going live first thing in the morning with some fun card making ideas. I can't wait to share those with you. And uh, we'll be live nine o'clock Eastern ish. So stay tuned, hit ring that bell for the notification. We have 150 different stops, hundreds of different prizes that you can win. Um, and then also there is an Ulta new release tomorrow as well. So loads of things coming your way. Join us then. I'll see you in the morning. Happy crafting, everyone, and have a fantastic evening. See you then. Bye.